Well, turning now to Ukraine, where Russian forces today launched the largest wave of missiles and drones in weeks. Ukrainian officials say nearly 70 missiles were fired. The blast knocked out power stations and forced many to flee underground for safety. CBS's Ian Lee reports. Each missile and drone Russia fires carries death as it soars to its target. Everyone intercepted is a triumph of life. <laughs> Russia launched dozens of missiles today, hoping to overwhelm Ukraine's defenses. Most were shot down, officials say, but some made it through. One destroyed three homes in Zaporizhia. While in Kyiv, fragments from one shot down demolished this home along with its memories. We heard the explosions and started running to the cellar. My seven-year-old son and I barely made it, this woman says. Russia's attack echoed across the capital, an early wake-up call to the people of Kyiv. The defense ministry's office posted this picture of a rocket that flew straight into someone's home, but fortunately failed to detonate. For the people of Kyiv, the subway has almost become a second home, a safe place underground to take shelter while Russia reigns terror from above. President Zelensky addressed the nation, vowing to restore power to millions across the country impacted by the strikes. With these attacks, Moscow's aim seems clear. Weaponize the winter by targeting power stations to turn off the heat so life is cold, dark, and miserable for the people of Ukraine. Ukrainian people very angry, and they told better we stay without electricity and without heating, but we never give up. Just last night, we heard a loud explosion here in Dnipro as one of Russia's Iranian-made exploding drones was intercepted in the skies above us by Ukrainian air defenses. Jerika? Ian Lee reporting in Ukraine. Thank you.